to start off the process, you're going to need a few tools for this step, which is making the frame, you know, just assembling it. After you assemble it, you have to crosswire it. After crosswiring, you have to put in your foundation. If you're making plastic, you just assemble the frame and then you put your foundation in. Depending on what kind of foundation you buy, a plastic foundation, you might need some pins to go in the side and you might not. Uh, but the tools that you will need are a hammer, you need a hammer, or a staple gun. Some people use a staple gun. It's quicker to use a staple gun. Uh, I don't, I just use nails actually. Um, and you'll need some eyelets. I've got some here, I'll show you a close up in a minute. Um, you're going to need a square. This helps a lot, this type of square. Uh, you're going to need some glue, and it's either going to have to be uh, like this, having uh, an app application tip, or you know you can also use these silicone pans. Pour a little glue in there, and then these have a silicone brush on them, so you can brush it on, into the frame. That works really well, and then it just basically kind of flakes off when you're done. Uh, and you're going to need, need your frame, and you're going to need some nails. So uh, I, these are inch and a quarter nails, concrete coated. Uh, that's pretty much, and then you'll need a couple little towels, you know, uh, uh, paper towels or something to wipe the glue off. You're going to have to wipe some glue off. So those are the tools you'll need. Now we'll start making the frame. Here is a close-up view of the eyelets. So in the first step, what we're going to do, like I said, is um, we're going to put eyelets in. Now I've put eyelets in on these, these uh, end bars here. So you can see that's how they go in there. And then you know you just put them on your tool like that. And then you drive them into the holes in the end bars. But that's a close-up of what the eyelets look like. Again, if you're making plastic frames, you don't need to do this step. But uh, it, is re it is very highly recommended if you wire your frames. So I'm just going to show you a, uh, a close-up mainly of just the frame so that you can see everything that I'm doing. I've already put eyelets in here, like I said. All you do is you put the eyelet on the eyelet tool and you punch it in. I usually go a little bit below the surface of the wood. I do that for a reason. Uh, if you don't, sometimes they'll pop out on you when you're tightening your wire. But, uh, and, and it doesn't matter really, you know, as functionally, all you're trying to do is keep that wire from biting into the wood. So, you know, sinking them a little deep helps. And, uh, you know, this is a, these are Dayton eyelets and a Dayton eyelet punch. And uh, I like them more than the ones I bought in the past. First step of making a frame is to actually assemble it. So you're not going to, you're not going to actually put any nails in before you got everything assembled, but put your glue on your end bars. And I'm using uh, Gorilla Glue here. It's an, you want to use an exterior and an interior glue. Make sure that your eyelets are pointing out, although it probably would be okay if they weren't. And what you want to do is just start that because these ears will break off. You have to twist them a little bit to get them in there. And if you keep twisting, you keep twisting, they'll crack here. And I'll talk at the end about what you can do about if that does happen because you can fix that too. But get these on here. Try to put it in the frame. Uh, I got a limited frame just because I want to be able to show you kind of a closer shot of this. Um, like I say, start that one on pretty easy. And most of them do. And then when I'm done, I, 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 I push on it just to get it, you know, right up to this, the, the butt end here. Usually helps a little bit. Then glue, glue the rest of your frame. So on Kelly's, there's a... Uh, you can see there's a notch here that's actually going to be underneath. It's the only design that I know of like this. So I always put glue on that and then enough in there so that it sinks to the bottom. And then you're done gluing. So then fit, fit in your bottom bar. And what I always do on most frames that I make, it's always the same. Just sink it in there so that it's flush right there. 
and then uh, I put a little bit too much glue on there so I'm going to wipe it real quick before it gets down to those eyelets. Um, usually you don't have to wipe, wipe it until you sink nails. But So the next step is pretty crucial if you want a square hive. So what, what you can do, I'll try to get this so you can see it, is just put it in there and you can see that the frame is not square at all. But if you push over, push it over, it fair, it pretty much stays into, into spot. So if you move this away, push it over more, then you can square it. And the same thing happens if it's, if it's too far over this way and there's a gap down here. When you push on the square, it'll square it up. And that actually does these. So that's perfectly square right there. So the next thing you do is, is check to, to make sure that it's not twisted. So I, I look down this the edge of here and I compare it to the groove in the top bar. This is a groove top, groove bottom. And if if it's completely parallel, and this is, then you don't have to worry about it. But if it's not, you just you just twist it. You push this side that way, this side this way, or the opposite, whatever you need to go. And what will typically happen is this will pop out on one side and one side will stay flush against the end bar. So in that case, what you want to do is sink your nail on the flush side first, retwist it if you need to, and then sink the other side, and then do the exact same procedure when I turn it over. But in this case, it's completely square here, I know, and it's not twisted. So sink your nails. And I always recheck because, you know, nails typically will follow the grain of the wood, and if, if the grain that sometimes will cause a little twist. So I, I look down now and it's still perfectly not twisted. So sink your two nails here or staples, whatever you're using. Uh, if you buy Walter T. Kelly frames, they come with nails. And those are the nails I use for the most part. So that's what that's what these are. So at this point, you've, you've sunk your nails in your bottom bars. You want to wipe the excess glue off between the top bar, you know, at all the joints that you glued. And then don't forget this side. Sometimes the glue ekes out that way. And this, this whole process takes for a, for a frame, you know, usually, usually less than three minutes. Uh, but since I'm videotaping it, it's taking a little longer. So now you turn your frame over. You again check it for any twisting. This one's not twisted at all. It's perfect. So you, so sink your nails. You got to get those nails perfectly straight, or you'll get them coming out on one side or the other of that end bar. Okay, so there's the there's the frame completely done. Let's kind of check this. That's almost perfectly square and and that's and it's fine in that so this what it is is this bottom bar is bowed out a little bit so that's why it doesn't that's why it's not square but it doesn't start to lose square until right here so the angle itself is square but up here it actually is bowed out a little bit so and you're not going to get too much of that going on where it where it stays that way because this this bottom bar you know is a certain distance so if you make it flush typically you're not going to see that too much but that's not a problem uh, the the bigger problem is is whether or not this is square so it's bowed out a little bit but uh, not enough to make a difference it was even I think it's you can measure it so it's about an eighth of an inch and then uh, so that then you're done making your frame. If, uh, another thing a lot of people do, I'm not going to do it because I glue everything with some really strong glue, is they'll take and they'll sink a nail through this end bar into the top bar. 
and you got to make sure you do it on one side or the other because there's a groove in the top bar and you don't want to put it in there. Uh, so if you do that, what it does is it strengthens the frame so that when you're when it's in the hive and you're prying up on this top bar to lift the frame out, that it's much harder for it to come loose here. But uh, so that's the making the frame part. Now we'll move on to uh, to wiring it, cross wiring. It.